guys this is Chelsea here from Reborns R Us happy Tuesday hope you guys are all doing good and I thought the baby to be in my video today would be Miss Brianna Brianna is the um, fairy sculpt by Adri Stout um, and she was painted by Nikki Holland of Still Moments Mer Nursery and one of the reasons I just love this little girl so much is that chubby face. I mean, she is just so cute. Look at that face. Um, and she has a uh, Hispanic um, skin tone. Which I just, I, I love that lately. So, I figured it would be her turn. But I wanted to talk for our weekly video I wanted to talk about um, stolen pictures on Instagram because I've had kind of a rough week with that. Um, first, somebody stole a picture of Sarah and put her on Reddit. Now I don't know if you guys all know what that is. It was I didn't even really know what it was until her pictures were stolen and put put up on that site. Um, it is a website, but it's also an app. And the person who stole her, um, they basically just took a screenshot of my photo and they blocked my name out and put it on Reddit like it was their photo. Um, and, you, you know, as all of you know, the ones that know Sarah, Sarah um, she's the toddler kit, the stormy kit by uh, Donna Rubert. And it looks like she's crying and she has two front teeth like she's kind of teething. I can't remember if I've showed her in one of the videos or not. I definitely have her box opening, opening video up, though. But anyways, um, they put, because my caption on the photo, when I had made the picture and put it on Instagram, was, oh, don't cry, baby girl. You know, and it was, it was just role play, you know, nothing sinister about it. The person that put it on Reddit captioned it demon spawn don't cry which I mean I know that doesn't seem like it was that bad but you know in a way it's it was kind of like bullying right I mean they were making fun of the doll they stole my photo without permission and all these other people that are members on reddit were bashing it all without my permission mind you I have a private account on Instagram so I don't even know how they got this photo but so of course I had commented in the um, in the in the comments section like I had made a reddit account just to try to get my picture off of there um, I had made a count comment saying you know I please stop this is my baby I want it removed blah 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 and I got bashed by like four or five people they all told me that well you might have been the one to take the picture but technically the picture wasn't stolen it was a screenshot of your picture so technically it's not stolen and then I had several people accusing me of why are you even on reddit and it's like well because I heard my baby was posted without my permission and he, on a on a, the forum on this on this website it was called uh, reborn cringe it's just people that sit there all day long and bash people's reborns because they don't think they're they're cute enough um there's a couple babies on there um you know i i read through them a little bit because i was trying to get a feel for the forum because they you know like i said i didn't even really know what read it was but um there was one baby um her, her name is Britain I don't know who owns her or what sculpt she is or anything but she's like worshipped you know they like her but all the rest of everybody's babies they sit there and bash several of my friends on Instagram's babies were taken and put up there without um their permission they just made comments however they liked and 
no regards to anybody that, that saw them, including the owners of the doll. And um, one of the comments that was made on mine personally, it was, it was harassment. It was disgusting. They went as far as um, making a target at my personal life. And, you know, that for, because I have a crying reborn that, you know, I, I like to role play disciplining at my children and it was some really nasty stuff about my husband. I'm not even married. I, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to take that offensively, but you know, that photo was not fair game. And I told, you know, I made, I made a comment to the person that wrote that really nasty comment. And, you know, I told him that I did not like that comment and that, um, you know, that, that really kind of hurt my feelings and it was not appropriate at all. And, you know, excuse my language here, guys, but he's like, I don't give the fuck about your feelings. What are you even doing on this website? Who told you that you should come on this website and defend your doll? <laughs> I mean, how is that wrong of me to go on the website once I heard my doll was up there and defend her on a place that I didn't even give her permission to be on? I mean, how is that wrong and how does that make me the um, aggressor? You know, I, I just don't understand that. And then... Um, you know, so, several of them were like, well, why are you getting so upset about this? You know, these are supposed to be jokes. It's like, guys, it may be funny to you, but for the people that own these dolls or the people that collect these dolls, they're not jokes. It's, it's hurtful. It's bullying. It's harassment, especially when you have all these people ganging up on you. I mean, there is nothing funny about these jokes at all. Like I said, the, the comment that was made on mine was particularly nasty. So, you know, I, I screenshotted the conversations and put them on my Instagram. But my first thought was, okay, I, I need to get this picture removed. Because I, even though I wasn't, like, you know, part of me knows that these are probably children. And they're, they're looking to be, tr you know, trolls on the internet. They're trolling. But, and you know, I tried to, I made a comment to them before I did any of this. I, you know, I said to them, do you realize all the different reasons people have these dolls? I mean, for me, yes, it's, it's, I like dolls and I like babies, but for other people, it's, these dolls help them against depression and anxieties and, um, stillborns and miscarriages and you know people that can't have children and there's just probably a thousand reasons that I'm not even saying for why people have these dolls and that you know a lot of these especially I've noticed anyways and you know don't take this the wrong way but so many of these children are here because of you know in the reborn community on Instagram or YouTube because of bullying where they've actually attempted suicide or, or self-harm because of people ganging up on them and people harassing them and people bullying them. And, you know, I tried to make a comment of that on, on, under my photo. You know, I'm not somebody that's attempted self-harm or suicide or has any of those reasons, but you never know. You know, you, you can't just take somebody's photo and Put it up on a site like that and just start harassing them i mean <laughs> you know you're asking for it do, you know do you really want to hurt a child or even if they're not a child do you really want to make somebody do self-harm or can it uh, attempt suicide or you know anything or even just if it's feeling uncomfortable do you really want to make people feel uncomfortable and you know of course they all just laughed that one off and they said well it's not our job to protect children on the web and blah 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 it's not our problem and we just want to cringe at ugly dolls and it you know that's that's where it hits me as part of the problem too i mean 
you know, you may think that's the ugliest doll in the world, but to somebody else, that's their baby, that's their doll, that's their reborn. They don't think they're ugly at all. For example, with, with Sarah, I don't think she's ugly at all. I think she's absolutely adorable. To me, she looks like she's she's crying and she's looking up at me and she's like, Mommy, pick me up. And, you know, it's, she's just never stroked, striked me. I mean, even when I first saw her online before I bought her, I mean, she has never come across me as ugly. I, I thought she's the cutest little girl in the world, which is why I bought her. And, you know, uh, some of them on, on this Reddit site were trying to understand that. They're like, well, I can understand the sleeping babies and I can understand the happy babies, but why would you want to have a crying baby? And, you know, I tried to explain to them, you know, as I have Sarah, you know, I, I tried to say, well, you know, it's, it's part of the realism. I mean, yes, babies are happy and yes, babies are sleeping, but... Crying is a very normal emotion for babies, too. You know, to me, it just adds to the to the realism. You know, it's... Babies spend a lot of their time crying. And, quite honestly, um, crying babies, they, they trigger the maternity instinct in us, right? You see a crying baby, and you just want to pick them up, and you want to snuggle them, and you want to comfort them. And that's part of it with Sarah, too. Like I said, it looks like she's looking up at me and she's like, Mommy, just pick me up. You know, it just makes you want to cuddle and hold that baby that much more. So, you know, these people that are triggering or targeting the the upset babies, I mean, that's, that's not right either. So, you know, like I said, I made the screenshots of some of the conversations that I had with these people, and I put them up on my Instagram so that people could be warned and hopefully block or make their accounts private before um, any more photos were stolen. And um, so first I tried to attack that really, really nasty comment about, you know, me, I can't you know, I like to role play disciplining it, my children and stuff. Um, I reported that comment like six times. Um, you know, every time I, I told the Reddit administrators that, you know, that was about my baby and I found it bullying and I found it as harassment and it was just absolutely disgusting in my view and I wanted it gone. And that did absolutely no good. I, I spent two days trying to report that photo, or uh, not that photo, but that, that comment, and the comment was still up there. Um, to this day, that comment is still up there. So I'm going to tell you what what worked, because this was another reason why I, I, I did it as well. I was going to just like, well, I'm hardly on Reddit anyways. I didn't even really know what it was, so maybe I'll just log off and try to forget about it. Um... I didn't because there's a lot of people on Instagram in the reborn community that were upset that their their babies were up there. Um, you know, I, I had expressed a little bit that I was upset, but other than that, you know, I was trying to let it go. But, um, you know, there was some other people that were really upset that their dolls were up there. So I, thought, I figured, well, I have an opportunity to try to figure out how to um, get these pictures taken down. So basically what I did was I went to the Reddit, um, help center and I reported the photo stolen copyright. And they had this entire form that you had to fill out where you had to put all the links in, you had to put screenshots of proof in, you had to write this big long paragraph explaining it, you had to put the username who stole the photo in it, you had to do this huge long thing, um, but I, I did it, and I had to wait. I, I submitted it on Friday night, so I'm not sure if it was because it was the weekend or that's just how long it takes, but it took until Monday to get a response from them, and they, they did email me back, and they said, based on the evidence that you pr provided, um, we're going to side with you, and the photo will be removed for copyright reasons. So, 
all the comments that were made, if you click on the post now, because I, I had the picture bookmarked, um, but if you click on the picture now, the picture won't pop up anymore. It does say that the photo has been removed due to copyright, copyright reasons. And um, the comments are still up, but in my view, who cares? I mean, the picture's down, that's, that's what I cared about the most. Um, because that was, that was the biggest deal to me. You know, nobody's gonna, you know, know, and I'm not gonna know anymore, you know, it's, it is what it is. And I actually went through and deleted all my comments that I had made throughout the conversations because, you know, the only reason I even made this account was to go check up on this photo. So, um, I made sure that, um, you know, I pretty much wiped myself clean of it. But I did check back last night because I was just curious whatever became of it on the website. And the person that had posted my um, photo had screenshotted the... Um, they had gotten an email from Reddit saying this huge long paragraph of all these things of how she... Or he, I don't really know, but how she violated the copyright rules and that the photo was deleted and, you know, that, she, you know, if, if she thought it was wrong, she could fight it, but otherwise she should consult legal advice. Although, obviously, I'm not going to sue her or anything, but I, I just wanted the, the picture removed, so, in, you know, in my eyes, I won. But in big, bold letters ab above the screenshot, and, you know, she had posted this in the Reborn Cringe site, and I also had, um screenshotted this and put this on my Instagram account because I thought it was quite funny but in big bold letters she's like I posted one photo one and this is what I get can somebody please explain it to me like she had no idea what it even was you know I had asked for the photo to be taken down I had complained to several of the people commenting on the photo like I, I had self-identified, you know, saying my username and everything, that that was my doll, and I was not happy that she was on that website, and, you know, I, I made it clear in every way possible that I did not want that picture up there, so that's one of the reasons why I think it's, think it's so funny that she was just so confused about why it was removed and why she got that copyright notice, you know, she, and I, I read the comments that were on the bottom of that one, and she's like, but I didn't do anything wrong. I mean, everybody posts these. I only posted one. And, you know, a few people were like, well, the owner of this doll is really, really upset. And then a few other people were like, hmm, she must have reported you a bunch of times to get this removed. And to be honest, guys, I only reported her once for the copyright. You know, I didn't even know if it was going to work, but um, you know, you know, I saw kind of a nasty comment where somebody was like, well, I, I've noticed that the people that get most upset about their photos being on Reddit here are the mentally ill, one, uh, mentally ill people. And, you know, that's, that's not true at all. I'm, I'm not mentally ill at all, but I, so, you know, I kind of laughed that one off, but just the conversations that these people were having about like, they were discussing why the picture got removed, and it's, it really just comes down to, I didn't want it up there in the first place, the picture was stolen, I did not give permission to, for it to be up there, so I wanted it removed, it was that simple, like, if, if, if she just removed my photo, I wouldn't even have gotten angry or reported her, I literally just wanted it off the website, that's, that's all I wanted, so... You know, I, I found that quite funny. Um, so, um, yeah, I mean, I have screenshots of all this stuff on uh, <laughs> my Instagram. So, you know, if you want to go check out my Instagram later and see the screenshots, you know, you're more than welcome to. Not that I'm trying to gossip, but, it, you know, it was just, I, I didn't even care that much. And it was a stressful situation for me. So... For the people that were even more stressed out, stressed out and truly upset about their photos being up there, um, I wanted to try to figure out a way where they could get their babies off of there. Um, 
And the other thing I wanted to talk about, because <laughs> believe it or not, that whole issue was not the first time that my account has been targeted this week. <laughs> um, Sunday night, there was a, a young girl. Um, I, I think she was young. You could tell by the way she was talking. She, she called herself Darla. The account was Darla Loves Tacos. Um, she was stealing everybody's pictures of their babies and putting them on her account on Instagram. Like, no mention of our names. Like, I, I'm the type of person where, you know, if you really like my baby and you just, you want to post a picture of them on my account, you know, number one, ask me. And number two, just put a little tag in the bottom of the photo, you know, say, this photo does not belong to me. This photo belongs to at Reborns R Us or this photo belongs to Chelsea or, you know, any, any little mention of my name. And I, I would have been completely fine with that. But she was putting pictures of these, our babies up on her account to number one, cause an issue, and number two, to, to, to harass and number three, she actually attempted to sell two of my babies. Again, poor little Sarah was targeted. She started off with that one. Um, she took the screenshot that I had done the other day and she just posted it on her account and she wrote, you could see the like the little um, uh, photo edits. She wrote on the picture in like a scribbly scrawl that you could barely read. Um, starting bid a hundred dollars dm me if if you want to buy and um that's when i started getting nervous because um in number one she didn't have that doll at all so i was really worried about her scamming people you know into thinking that or that didn't know any better or were too new in, in the community to know she didn't have sarah and um you know, they, they'd lose their money. <laughs> and another piece of that was, um, you know, $100 for Sarah. Like, I think I paid twelve fifty for Sarah. Like, so a, a, little, a part of that was a little bit insulting because to even start the bid at $100, now I know it was fake, but that alone um, was a little bit insulting on, on my part because that doll was just... That wasn't even a tenth of what that doll was worth. So, she had done that, and then she started in with Oswald. Um, she put several pictures that I had posted less than an hour before on my account, saying that they were hers. And so what I did, because I was trying to, like, I was trying to protect myself, I was trying to protect my babies, and I was trying to protect the community, I went and took Oswald, and I I took a photo of him, and I made a safety photo, and I put the date and the time, and I actually put my, my real name, Chelsea, and my last name above my Reborns R Us Instagram account on the safety photo, and she did something that was starting to get scary. She screenshotted my safety photos and she posted them on her account claiming that she was Chelsea. <laughs> so, you know, immediately when I saw that, it was like, oh, no, 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 that is not happening. I'm not going to let that happen. So I took Oswald and I made about a minute video, you know, and I put him in the video and I picked him up so people could see that he was there with me. And, you know, I just basically told them, you know, that I'm Chelsea. I've had my Reborns RS account for almost two years, and uh, I am not connected in in with Darla at, in any way. And that um, you know, she's stolen my photos, but she's also stolen many of other Instagram account users. And um, I thought that you know that would kind of put the end to it. That you know she can't she has no access to my face or anything, how is she going to, um, continue that scam? 
And of course, you know, after the whole Oswald thing, she posted trying to sell Sarah. Um, and I, you know, I thought it was pretty much over at that point. So I had put my phone down and went to bed. And then come Monday morning, that's, that's when it got even scarier. Um, I had woken up to find, um, Oswald on her story. And she was trying to, again, sell him for a hundred dollars. Um... She had the edits on the photo with like the scribbly writing saying starting bids starting at a hundred, which was also pretty insulting because again, that's not even a tenth of what that doll is worth. But I was worried at that point because, um, you know, number, number one, she was trying to sell a baby she didn't have, but number two, she had just the night before claimed to be me. So if there was somebody t new to the community or somebody that doesn't know me or is just, you know, too too innocent to know any better, I didn't want them to get scammed out of their money. I mean, I don't want to I don't want to see anybody get hurt. Um so that was troubling. So I had sent her a private DM and I said, um, you know, hey, Oswald is not yours, you know, you need to stop this, um, you know, this is, this is scamming, and, you, you know, th this is gonna hurt people, and, you know, we could get the police involved, because, you know, at that point, you, you know, scamming is illegal, so, and I was, to be honest, I was trying to threaten her into taking my stuff down, because, I, again, I didn't like that, um, on her account without my permission, so, um, and the next thing I knew, probably like 15 minutes later, um, and I was already at work at this point, I saw on her story, she, just a black screen with my username, and she's like, I, I want to let everybody know that um, Reborns Are Us is my main account. And that, <laughs> that was when it was the scariest, um, because not only was she just trying to steal my photos, and steal credit of my photos babies so that she could get some money but she was after my identity and part of that fear was I was at work I did not have any of my dolls around me so I couldn't just take a screenshot with my babies or a video like I had done the night before um, I, you know I, I couldn't do it with any of my dolls I was at work I wasn't home I so that was, <laughs> that was really scary, but I, I took a picture of her story, the one where she claimed to be me, and, um, you know, just put, put it on my Instagram and, you know, said, I am, you know, I've been on this account for two years, my name is Chelsea, I am in no re way related to Darla you know, please report and block her because, you know, she's after my identity now. And I had also made another photo, which I put up on my Instagram, where I had taken my phone and taken a picture of my face sitting in my chair at work. And, you know, right in the photo, I, took, I made a post saying, you know, I, I can't take a picture with any of my babies because I'm not home, I'm at work. But Darla is claiming that Reborns Are Us is her main account, and I would like everybody to know that that's not true. My name is Chelsea. I've had this account for almost two years. I am in no way connected to Darla. You know, this is me. This is my face. I can almost guarantee you that Darla does not look like me. I really think she's probably a young kid. Um, just by the way she was typing, like, there were words she couldn't even spell. She meant to write thanks, and she spelt it T-A-N-K-S, um, and there was a few other words that she couldn't even spell, so, and just the general lack of knowledge she seemed to have about Reborns, the fact that she was starting bids at $100, I mean, everybody in their right mind knows there's, um, I mean, there's Reborns out there, but none of my Reborns are worth a hundred dollars so yeah I mean and you can just tell by looking at them that they're a lot higher high quality than that 
and um, you know so I just think that the knowledge wasn't there so at that point <laughs> I I blocked her for stealing my identity because there is an option for that on Instagram and I immediately blocked her um, I had I, I was done um, at that point I, I was I was really scared to be honest guys um, she 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 was trying to steal my identity and I you know part of this I just want to thank 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 the Instagram community because I had so many people that went and they were messaging her and they were blocking her and they were reporting her and they, you know everybody was just ganging up on her and if you read um, not just my photos but everybody's photos that were stolen Everybody, I mean, there was 16, 17, 18 messages on every single one of them saying, you need to stop. These aren't your babies. Why are you doing this? No, and, and the ones that she had tried to sell, everybody was saying, don't buy these. She doesn't have the dolls. She's trying to scam you. So a part of this, I just want to thank everybody for all the support. And then, you know, when she was after my identity, a bunch of people stood up for me. And they said, we know <laughs> that you're not Chelsea. And one of my best friends in the community actually went as far as privately DMing her and threatening, okay, well, now you've not only just stolen her photos and tried to sell her babies, but now you're after her identity. So we're going to get the cops involved because at this point it's, it's um, identity theft and you can actually go to jail for that. And because we think this is a child, um, she did, I think, at that point, get scared. She deleted all her posts. Her account is still up. And in the uh, comments at the top, like where my baby names are, she has written, Darla is gone for now, but we'll be back. And like I said, all her photos are deleted. Her story is deleted. Like, everything's gone. And that seems to be the end of Darla. And this morning I got an Instagram message um, saying they checked into my claim of identity theft. And because she had gone and deleted everything before they got done around to checking the report, um, there was nothing for them to find. So they said, Un unfortunately, we can't take her account down. There's just not enough evidence for us. But... They wanted to thank me for reporting her. So that's a little bit of a bummer that she can't be taken down permanently. But she is gone for now anyways. And I won't know when she comes back because I have indefinitely blocked her. <laughs> I'm afraid of her targeting me again. So I, I you know, I've made sure that's, that's not going to happen. And, you know, my account is after these two incidents... Um, it was on public because I wanted people to just, you know, you guys that watch my videos or people that were just surfing and liked my account or, you know, for whatever reason, I, I just wanted people to be able to follow me. But these couple of incidents have kind of um, opened my eyes to why I need a private account. You know, it's it's not just to protect myself so much, but it's to protect my photos and my babies as well. And, um, so that's, that's a little bit of a bummer because I was really enjoying the open account. <laughs> you know, it was, it was nice to just wake up in the morning and say, oh my God, all these people have decided to follow me over the night. You know, that was, that was a lot of fun, but in the end, it's just not worth it. I'd rather have to go through and one by one accept everybody than risk not being safe. So, and I, I mean, I know these, uh, <laughs> this Tuesday's video was kind of a downer, and I apologize for that, but I, I really think they're serious issues. I mean, how have you guys handled this? You know, has anybody ever tried to steal your photos? Or has anybody, like, gone after you personally, like Darla did to me? Or even, like, taking your photos and posting it elsewhere, like on Reddit, or even another site completely. I mean, I'm sure there's plenty out there. Like I said, I didn't even know what Reddit was. You know, how, how have you guys handled it? Have you guys just laughed it off and completely ignored it? Have you guys 
done what I did? Do people back you up? Do you think I made the right calls? I mean, you know, there was one person on Instagram when I had posted some of the screenshots with Reddit. She was like, stop, just stop. You need to let it go. You know, you're, you're feeding into the trolls and that's what they're looking for. And you just need to let it go. And, you know, a part of me was, yeah, I, I don't truly care that much. But another part of me is, you know, some of these people were really upset by this. And if there was anything I could do to help, I wanted to do it. So that's, you know, that's just what I, why I ask that. You know, do you think I handled it the right way? On both of them, I mean, I don't think there's much more I could have done with Darla. I mean, she was just looking to cause trouble. But, you know, who knows? I mean, maybe I should have just blocked her from the second one of my photos were stolen and ignored it and not put any warnings out there and just kind of lived my account, per se. I mean, you, you get what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I just thought this would be a really good discussion because I've seen a few other videos on, on topics similar to this, but I don't think there's enough awareness about this. I mean, and you th really think about it and you, you, you know, you see, you hear about it happening once in a while and you're like, oh, this will never happen to me, but <laughs> it happened to me twice within like three days of each other for me. I mean, it really does happen and it happens quick. And you feel violated and targeted. And you feel like you need to warn everybody. So, I mean, leave your leave your comments in in, in a post below. I, you know, I just want to know if this has ever happened to you or how you guys have handled it or if you think I made the right call. I'm just really curious about what you guys all think. So, let me know. <laughs> But I'm going to stop rambling because I know this is probably a long video. Um, but I, I just I just figured it was a good topic to make now because both of these issues were just so fresh on my mind as, you know, Darla just... Sorry, my dog just came in the room. As Darla just... I just got rid of her yesterday. So... Um, you know, let me know. Let me know what you think. Um, thanks for watching this weekly vid Tuesday video. Um, I, you know, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, my Instagram account is in the description box. And uh, I hope to see you all soon. And I will see you next week, if not sooner, because I might have a kit, kit opening this weekend. So, I don't know. We'll let you know. But thanks for watching. <laughs> Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. <sighs> All right. You guys have an awesome night. God bless.